The Lord sent word. Tell Jehazel. He says, tell Jehoshaphat, fear not, for this fight is on the Lord. He says, don't be afraid by reason of the great multitude, for the Lord is going to fight this battle for you. Now, for those of you who read the Bible, and yours don't have dust on it, you understand that these are not the first time that we've heard it. These are not the first time where we've heard, set yourself, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord. This is not the first time that we've heard the Lord say, just show up, and I'm going to move while you're there. Y'all hung it up on me. Come here, Brother Moses. Come quickly because they look bored. Moses would tell you now at the Red Sea that he got the same instruction. Show up, stand still, and watch me work. And my love, you got to learn. Don't let the devil trick you from not showing up. You've got to learn to whatever the situation is to show up and watch God show up. I, I found somebody that's on your road and tell them when you show up, he'll show up. When you show up, he'll move things. When you show up, he'll arrive. Things. When you show up, he'll cause enemies to be your friends. When you show up, he'll cause folk that don't like you to have to pay for what you want. When you show up, he'll turn things around. I guess that's why the Bible said that what the devil meant for evil, God meant it for my good. Guess that's why the Bible says that all things work together for the good of them who work. by what you see, but you're affected by what you heard. Let me say that one more time. You're not infected by what you see, but you're affected by what you heard. I see the great army, but I heard the promise of God. I see the Ammonites and the Moabites, but I heard the Lord say that he'll fight my battle. you see. That's why the Bible says now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not. you got to learn how to not be infected by what you see, but affected by what God said. got to show up despite what you see. That's been news about 26 and 27, y'all, who's dealing with some stuff. At your job or at your church or at your home, you gotta learn how to still show up despite what you see. You gotta learn how to not let what you see dictate. You'll show up. I'm done now. Not only do you have to put prayer back in the ground, not only do you have to show up despite what you see, but lastly, beloved, you gotta learn how to worship while God wins the war. While God wins the war, the Bible said, Oh, yes, sir, that. Oh, after he got a word from the Lord. The Bible says that the first thing that the leader does is fall down and worship. But not just the leader by himself, but when the leader fell in worship, the congregation started to pray. Praise, prayer, and worship are part. And they go together. You cannot have prayer without worship. The Bible says that when they begin to worship, and when they begin to praise, the Lord set ambushments against Ammon, Moab, and Mount Sinai. It literally means, y'all, that when they begin to sing and pray, that their praise confused the Ammonites and the Moabites and the Mountain. All I'm trying to tell you is, the Lord, that praise is a powerful weapon. And you've got to learn how to use it for your behalf. The devil does not understand why it is that you go through what you go through. You still show up with a praise on your lips. The devil does not understand how it is that you can lose the stuff that you lost. But you still show up with a praise on your lips. The devil does not understand how you can be faced with those types. 
terrible storms that you're faced with, but you still show up with a praise on your lips. It's because praise confuses the enemy. Praise does not always line up with my situation, but praise is that I'm trusting God to turn it around. And I don't need everybody, I just need a few of y'all who can help them boy preach and testify that the reason why I'm praying 